told you. Told you. Wow. That trailer right there. Yes. All right. New Walking know, Dead man. Season 7 trailer. Woo. Did you see it? Oh, uh, man. If not, go watch it. Yes. Maybe we'll play it in the beginning. <laughs> that, whew. That was crazy. Cannot but... wait. So much tension. Oh, man. So, yeah. talk about little is more. Yeah. Less is more. Like, yeah. oh, my gosh. Always, always. I feel like that they've always done that with The Walking Dead, you know? Mm -hmm. And So, that... we are Break Room Blitz. <laughs> Break Room Thank Blitz. you for joining us. We kind of got out of Got sidetracked there. <laughs> that trailer is awesome. They Break Room Blitz. I'm DeAnthony. Alan. Gosh. All right, let's get into it. Walking Dead season seven. The who, trailer. Who just died? Who just died though? So I'm just I'm gonna call it out. All right. Who so, died? <laughs> I have theories. Um, according to the comic book, and I know they don't go according to comic books, especially when he talked to Derek. <laughs> <laughs> um, according to the comic book of. Glenn's supposed to get it, and uh, I honestly don't think AMC has the guts to do it. Um, everyone loves Glenn. With, I, I, I said, I'm calling you out right now. I don't think you have the guts to do it. Um, I honestly think you're gonna. I, my my theories are if you if you, I have a picture of the group to the left, Rick had blood on the right side of his face. Okay. So that means the shot came from the right side. You're either looking at left Maggie, to right, left to right. Yep. Psh, you're looking at Maggie, Abraham, Michonne, Daryl. Um, I forgot what that one chick's name is. Oh my gosh, there's space on it. And then we have Glenn at the far, far, far left. And um, he did get out of order, which did tick off Negan. Um, and um, honestly, the one there's key words that they drop in this. And this is me looking into it as a fan. Okay. Looking into it as a fan. All right. He says, did I just get your right-hand man and knock him? So. So, who was his right-hand man at this accord in time? Who is he into right now? Who is he? Michonne. Oh my god. Now, his right hand, since you want to go by Woo! comic books. Mm -hmm. yes. So the right hand that he's talking about, he's giving, I guess, puns to Dude. the fact he's about to cut off his cut right off his hand. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's what I took from it. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, that's what I figured at the it's end. Like, do you know how much more ring? work it would be without your right hand? Right. Like, literally, I'm going to cut it off with his hatchet. <laughs> you got to have a right hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's my yeah, right hand. And I know that. I saw, I know that's coming. I, 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 I've totally felt that coming. Like, when he took him in there, I'm all, he's going to cut off his hand, throw him out. It's about damn time because that should have happened a long time ago. Right. But, so, so he referenced, like, two things there. I mean, as far as the person who's, like, he just, like, knocked out and, you know, cutting off his hand. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that he's going to get his hand cut off, first of all. Apparently. Now, I just research. He should have had his hand cut off a long time ago. A long time yeah, ago. yeah, yeah. But they were having some issues because of how much you know graphics it would have took, how much money would it take to do the graphics. Like it's not gonna happen. Right. But people were saying they did it with uh, uh, Daryl's brother. Um, not Daryl's brother, but they did it with uh, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> they did it with Sherman with his foot. Yeah. So yeah, they yeah. had the graphics then, yeah. so they probably can do it now since the show has gotten a lot of yeah. funding or you know a lot of views and stuff like that. So. <laughs> I Might think, be. I think that's a cop out. Yeah. <laughs> you, what, you don't think it's that he got his hand cut off? I think that they could have cut it off a long time ago, and that the, the, the excuse for not doing it. But back they, they've then, been holding off on a lot so of stuff. I mean, yeah. like, and then just they, just to get kind of back to the core element it, here, it veers off. Yeah. Um, I, I'm just gonna go down my list. Real Can quick. we get some this? Why you do all of this? I'm really just interested. You said yours. Yeah. Uh, do you yeah. have a theory? Who could it be? I do have a theory. Uh, because okay, so when we talk about the right hand. Uh, I'm immediately, my mind goes to Michonne. Okay? Michonne. And, and, and the reason for Michonne is because, well, Michonne's supposed to be doing a Black Panther movie that I really want to see already. Yeah, but... <laughs> and, uh, okay, so Michonne is an option. Now... Well, they hey, pay the dookie off the black people. So. All right. <laughs> hey, it could be Michonne. There's, there's other truth. black people. <laughs> is there? Yeah. Well, every time they show them, they gotta kill them. There's other white people, too. My there's God, other geez. <laughs> Anyway, so... Uh, Glenn was uh, another because oh, if they decide to go back to the comic book, which was Glenn, then you know Glenn was the one who rescued Rick when he was stuck in the tank, and he he's been around the show from like you know season umpteenth whatever you know, mm -hmm. and so I mean th those to me are going to be okay. The top ones that I can think about: Michonne, Glenn, Daryl. Yeah. So to go with what you said about me, that doesn't matter what the comic book does. I'm going to stick with that. Yes, it doesn't matter what the comic book did because, for one, as a, a TV show, it, it doesn't make me any money if I would have killed him off just like that. 
his they probably got way more ratings from when he almost when people thought he died. Flashbacks. Right. They could always do flashbacks. Uh, well, <laughs> they don't. I don't want a flashback. They can. The way they couldn't the Tarantino was a terrible way to end that season. So I think um, they should do it right. I, I think that, that if it's gonna be Glenn, it's not yeah. at that time. Right. There's gonna be some type of conflict. He was trying to save someone or something like that. And Negan was like. I gave you a chance last time. Yeah. Now I'm gonna have to kill you for real. And we don't know how many times he's used that bat either. So I mean, it's not like he's gonna use it once and throw it away. He could come back and kill Glenn with it later. Exactly. So then also, I'm gonna say, if I was to say it, it was anyone, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say Daryl. Daryl. Because Daryl has a new show that he, he just came out with. Yeah. yeah. So he might be done with because he wasn't really in it a lot last season. He wasn't. No, they, they were marginalizing him a lot. That's actually one thing I was going to bring up. You know, yeah. it's just as far as them marginalizing Daryl, and um, they're they're almost kind of replacing um, Daryl with Jesus, the Jesus character. Jesus character. And a lot of people are liking Jesus so far. And I don't like. I don't trust Jesus. I dig the guy. I don't trust Even him. Even in a comic book, he's a man. I don't trust him. Yeah, but I mean, you know, that's the kind of world that they live in. Like, do I trust him? Do I not trust him? He, he looks. He looks like he's scheming. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he was the reason why Playing everyone the groups. showed up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't like him. I don't think he does. He definitely doesn't replace Daryl. I like him. I like him. What? What do you like about him? He did one. He had one awesome episode where <laughs> no, he, he where he not. fought Dude, uh, this, Rick, and that was it. No, did you not remember that time where they went to that bunker and it was smoking in there? And he's like, "I'll be right back." And they're like, "Don't you need a weapon?" No, nah, I don't need a weapon. He puts on his mask and freaking stealths through the whole thing. Okay, two, two good episodes. See, I stopped you there. Not replacing <laughs> Daryl. I'm just saying, he's a likable character thus far. And and like I said... Daryl's been awesome. I love Every Darryl. episode he's so in. So I'm scared you, for Daryl to go. You pick three characters. Who, who are your characters to go? I'm not picking three. I think it's going to be either Michonne, Michonne, because she's black and they kill all the black characters. <laughs> or Daryl. Or it's going to be Daryl, because financially it just makes sense. He's leaving anyway. His contract's probably up. Right. Let's do him. And he's not really been in it. Too much, kind of like how the sister wasn't. Uh, what's her name? Sister wasn't. Right. End up killing her. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with Daryl, just for a history of shows mm -hmm. and history of that show. Yeah. Because they don't seem to be de doing jaw dropping moments anymore. So I'm gonna go with that. Wow. What do you think? <sighs> you think it's actually gonna be Glenn though? I I'm gonna be slightly pissed if it's not Glenn. The only reason why is because I love Glenn. I loved I've loved his character, and they they, they when they did uh, the. The, the death of him earlier, and uh, they did that remnant that, that kickback to when they first met. Remember when he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, I was just like, I, I immediately, and then they foreshortened it by him finding the bat in the bunker. And I'm sitting there watching these episodes, and I'm going like, oh my god, I don't want that to come because I don't want Glenn to go. Right. And it's, he's he's already hitting on a tragic note because Maggie's losing the baby. And so Glenn can go. Everyone can go. You, you, you know what? And and I think they need to take a. Page out of Game of Thrones here and start killing off some core characters already. Don't, I, I don't, don't be afraid. Them. I don't yeah. want to be impacting though. All right, so so that's why it can't be him because that, that's a him. whack way to go. That's your favorite character. Is that how you want him to go out? In the comic books, that's how you want him to go out. Hell no. Okay, so they know that. They know that. I get that. But at the same time, it was even tragic in the comic book. In the comic book, what happened? You're like. No! Like, I want to be there to go... Yeah, so, but you actually get to see it. They don't show you anything. They don't That'd show be a it, terrible yeah. way for him to go out. Right. But that, it's just, to me, to me, in order to make Negan impacting on that villain, con that, that my hero villain con, in order to make Negan that, that dude, because he is worse than the governor in the comic books. He is ten times worse than the governor. And if he doesn't just ball out and take out the one one of the core a characters, core character, the yeah. heart, right, the Darryl. one that's kept everybody in line. No, because Daryl even had his dark moments. Yeah, Glenn has been the one who self sacrificed. He, he held on to something. You exactly. Know? He didn't give up like everyone else. He didn't fall into dark spot. And not not to mention this last season, Glenn was there for Glenn there for Rick a lot. He he manned up, and he's got a kid on the way. He's the one with everything to lose in this world. If you did Abraham. It's a cop out. If you did Maggie, she's already pretty much on the verge of death. Right. Daryl, it's gonna be tragic, but you've marginalized him as a character, so therefore, it's not that. It's pinnacle. easy out. Michonne or Glenn are my top two mm -hmm. picks. The reason, reason for Michonne, him and Glenn is equally. It, 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 if, if Negan is trying to break down the leader of the crew, which is Rick, he's gonna take out his right hand man and his right hand, and we've seen Rick already get close with Michonne. Yeah. He's not his right hand man though. If someone has Rick's back, it's going to be Daryl. That's going to be... Daryl has his back at any... What you, what you want us to do? 
Yeah. What you want me to do? That's true. You he, sure you want me to take him out? Like he's always down for whatever Rick got, yeah, got going on. I, I, right? got, yeah. I got that, but at the same time, oh, he's been man. with Rick since the beginning, since the beginning, and hasn't left him, and has always been there. It's it's Glenn. But two episodes more than than Daryl? <laughs> Not two more episodes. Yes. No. Yes. It was almost. They meet at that camp, and that camp happens after <laughs> episode episode three. Yeah, but I'm saying Glenn was the one that saved Rick. Glenn was the one they they partnered up. Right. They handled. They don't stuff. know all that. All right, I don't care. Ah. I know all that. Right. And that's what I'm saying. My two picks are him or Michonne. And and the thing is, Rick is not supposed to be happy at all. Rick is not supposed to be happy. Period. And Michonne is bringing that light into his life. Yeah. And the blood's close enough to him. That pile that they showed at the end is close enough to him for it to be Michonne. And honestly, it's going to suck if it's Michonne because she also does last a little long in the comic books. But I, I, I hate to say it, I want it to be Glenn. If it's Michonne, cool. But if it's anybody else, it's a cop-out to me. I think it has to be someone else. And it has to be an epic death later on. They have to. They have to let you let go of that character properly. They're just just, to just to be like boom, boom. You never get to see who it is, and now we're done with him. That's a terrible way to it, let go. It of a definitely poor character. sucks, but at the same time, it, it 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 actually gives new meaning to every other character in the storyline now. It it'll revamp everything. It'll revamp Rick. It'll it'll bring. So you much want to, you want that that comic book ending so bad that you want a Com- bad yeah. episode. Yeah, I don't want. But a you want to. That's I, what you got. I want. It's that's what it gave you. It's so abrupt the way that they <laughs> ended the last season. So like I I, I I don't know like I mean who, whoever's getting hit is definitely dying right then and there. Oh dude. There oh. There, there is no if ends or buts. There is no coming back as a zombie. There yeah, <laughs> that blood and that uh, residue whatever it was on the ground that's pretty much he's dead. When whoever they showed us in the dead. trailer it was so intense and they showed us that and the only thing that comes to mind too is like you know Negan you know if he if he like you know if if he's like swinging that thing that blood is getting all over everyone mm-hmm. at that point. And and you know it's it's gonna splash on Rick. And there's only a little bit on him. There's there's only, that, that's what I'm saying. There's, he's the furthest there, there might one be away. Distance. He's the furthest Glenn's one away. Glenn's the furthest one away. Yeah. Exactly. So if it, that blood is not going 15 feet, right? Uh, you don't know that. It could have been a whack. It's a, if he did one solid whack right across, it, was, it wasn't. We <laughs> saw it. We saw it at the end. Yeah. He hit straight down. And then you could have swept And then he could have like wiped the blood off of him. Just like I don't want to take too much time about this. You guys let us know, let us know, what, let us you know what you think. I'm, I'm Daryl all the way, or Michonne, but that's because of <laughs> racial issues in uh, Hollywood. <laughs> but I'm Daryl all the way. Let us know what you guys think. I feel like it's more... Okay, Daryl, Michonne, Glenn. Glenn, if they have guts. Michonne, it would suck. Abraham, a cop-out. Yeah. Everyone else is a cop-out. Yeah. If it's not a core character... Even Daryl. Even Daryl's a cop-out. Because... Alright, so we're doing three. I'm going to say Abraham. <laughs> because Abraham is kind of like, oh, I'm in love with her now. I want to be with her. Move in with her. Yeah. Nope. Ha! <laughs> that... <laughs> yeah. So that's my third I, one. I will say, if it's Abraham, I will be... That first episode, I will shut it off. I will shut it off if it's Abraham. I'm right? okay with it. As long as we get a good death later on. We don't have to... Because that episode was garbage. They already apologized for it. So let's just skip it. Let a real death happen somewhere in the middle, maybe three, four, and then we can go from there. But not that the way the way, the way that they died it was terrible. Yeah. It doesn't do any core character justice. We just be able to say goodbye. I, I'd like to, but I also I, Game of Thrones a thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate to say it, but like you know, just Game of Thrones it. Like get, get, yeah, make man. make my draw drop and be pissed and be. I want to. I, I want to cry that first episode when I see that it's Glenn that's gone. I want to see Maggie and all of them walk into the fence and Glenn be the one missing and freaking Rick without his hand. And I'm going to be like... So, ugh. if all that happens, you guys have been watching our break room blitzes, you know that since he's going to cry, I'm going to laugh because that's going to be funny to me <laughs> if all that actually happens. So... That would be an awesome episode, but I don't think it's going to happen because they've been mediocre episodes like I for said, I, two I don't seasons. Think, I don't think but that's good. We don't want to take up too much yeah. time with it. That's our picks. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think. Break Room Best Baby. Like, share, subscribe. I'm DeAnthony. I'm Conch. And we're goodness. out. Peace. Bam. I don't care. My bladder doesn't have a time limit. 50 uh, feet down the hallway. Sure. You saw me walking. I just came 50 feet up yeah. the elevators. Go over there. Go over there. You know what? Prove it. We're going to re-raise. Okay. Re-raise. Okay. This is your fault. Bam. What's that? Empty poster holder. <laughs> There's no what? poster. Let's go. <laughs>